Demetria Jean Gaines is an actress, director, producer, and former model. She was born in the 60s of the last century, and her star shined in the 80s and 90s. She participated in many films, the most famous of which is the romantic drama Ghost, where she starred with Patrick Swayze and Whoopi Goldberg. As well as the movie Indecent Proposal, 1993, despite the conflicting opinions about this movie, it generated revenues estimated at about $104 million at the box office. In 1996, she made history for receiving the highest paid actress at the time, $12.5 million, for her movie Striptease, 1996. Among her most famous experiences in television series was her participation in the series General Hospital, where she played the character of journalist Jackie Templeton for two years. Moore owns her own production companies and has had several production successes, including the Austin Powers film series. Demi Gwines was born on November 11, 1962, in Roswell, New Mexico. Moore went through a tough childhood, which began with her parents' separation before she was born, which left the responsibility of raising her to the shoulders of her mother and her new husband. Her mother was not an ideal mother, as she suffered from alcoholism, as is the case for her new husband. When Moore reached her 14th year, she had changed her place of residence more than 30 times, and this adventure of transportation ended with her settlement in Los Angeles. Moore later clarified in an interview that all of these moves were to her advantage, saying, By moving around a lot during my life, I learned to adapt to any new circumstance I'm going through, and I also learned how to get myself comfortable with people quickly. I think this was a contributing factor in my artistic career. After she dropped out of school at the age of 16, Moore worked as a debt collector, and she also entered the field of working in fashion as a model, and in addition to the above. She showed interest and passion in acting. After her first marriage to actor Freddie Moore ended in divorce in 1984, she began dating actor Emilio Estevez, and they announced their engagement in 1985. This relationship ended in separation in 1987, and she later met actor Bruce Willis, who was acting at the time in the famous TV show Moonlighting. After a period of dating, they announced their marriage in November 1987 in Las Vegas. The year 1988 marked a turning point in her life, when Moore and Willis had their first child. A girl they named Rumor after the British writer Rumor Gone. The two stars also had two other children, Scout, 1991, Tallulah, 1994, but her relationship with Willis ended in separation after more than ten years of marriage. Moore then had a controversial relationship with young actor Ashton Kutcher, who was 15 years younger than her. In January 2011, she filed for divorce from her husband, Kutcher, in light of several reports that he was unfaithful to her. I just saw her after her split from Ashton, and she's doing really well, I think she's way better than the rumors say she is. Demi is amazing and strong and I hate when people freak out. She's great. Demi blows my mind, she has the potential to be a real director, and I told her. You are a director, my friend. Patty Jenkins, director. Moore faced many hardships, as her mother, who separated from her, was diagnosed with brain cancer in 1996, which brought them together again, as Moore accompanied her mother during the last months of her life. Until Virginia Gwines died in July 1998. At the same time, Moore had to deal with another loss, announcing her separation from her husband, Bruce, after more than 10 years of marriage, occurred a few days before the death of her mother. Moore's return to acting marked her big and successful adventure on the big screen, with the movie Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle, 2003, in which she played the powerful character Madison Lee. The director of the film said of her role in it, she is very beautiful and powerful. The mother of three children, and yet here she is, side by side with Cameron Diaz in a swimsuit. She is amazing, I enjoyed her performance and her daring. In recent years, Moore has acted in several films, starting with Emilio Estevez's Bobby, 2006, as an alcoholic singer. 
The film depicts the last hours of Robert Kennedy's life through the eyes of different people from the Ambassador's Hotel in Los Angeles. Once again, Moore received a lot of praise for her strong performance in this film. Not only was she satisfied with what she had accomplished, but she had work beyond her profession by signing a contract with Lifetime Cable for several new projects. Demi is the only one who became a famous movie heroine from the band The Hooligans after their era of fame ended. A fan of the English football club Arsenal, she always attends matches when she is in London. Her eyes are of different colors, the left one is green and the right one is hazel. In 1996, People magazine chose her among the 50 most beautiful women in the world. Italian fashion designer Donatella Versace chose her to replace Madonna in the Fashion House's 2005 campaign. Moore owns the production company Moving Pictures, which produced the Austin Powers film series. Her fortune is estimated at $150 million. In 2009, she founded the non-profit The Demi and Ashton Foundation, DNA, to combat child sexual exploitation and her first campaign was titled Real Men Don't Buy Girls. In the world of soap operas, she was chosen in 1981 to play a role in the beloved TV series General Hospital, where she played the character of journalist Jackie Templeton for two years. The role of the journalist was the only role that Moore was preoccupied with at the time. So she found herself ready and free to make her way in the world of films, hence her first appearance in the horror and science fiction movie Parasite, 1982, where she acted alongside her husband at the time, musician Freddie Moore. After leaving her TV series role, Moore struggled before she could make a name for herself in the movie world, playing Michael Caine's daughter in Blame It on Rio, 1984, which drew little attention from critics and moviegoers. As for starring roles, Moore played John Cryer's girlfriend in No Small Affair, 1984. And although it was her first starring role, she did not garner public attention until her role in Saint 1985. This film tells the story of a group of friends and their lives after college. The crew of this work included, in addition to Moore, a number of rising stars such as Rob Lowe, Andrew McCarthy, Ally Sheedy, Jed Nelson, Emilio Estevez, who were known as the Hooligans. In 1986, Moore also starred with actor Rob Law in the movie About Last Night, which highlights the life of singles in Chicago. As for their performance in this film, critic Roger Ebert praised it and described it as distinguished, saying, This movie gave them opportunities that neither of them had had before, and they made the best use of them. He also singled out Moore for praise, writing, She's impressive. There wasn't a romantic performance note that she wasn't asked to do in this movie, and she does it all perfectly. Playing the girlfriend again, Moore co-starred with John Cusack in the acclaimed comedy One Crazy Summer. Although her work was steady and profitable, it had not yet won her much success at the box office. In 1988, Moore returned to the big screen with The Seventh Sign, an apocalyptic thriller in which she plays a pregnant woman trying to stop this catastrophe. Although she had received some positive reviews for her role in the previous film, which only grossed about $16 million at the box office, unfortunately her next work, 1989, where No Angel was no more successful than its predecessor, despite its distinguished cast, where it was starring Robert De Niro and Sean Penn, but it was not popular with the masses. Moore reached the pinnacle of her success in the 1990 romantic drama film, Ghost where she played the role of Molly, a young woman whose husband is killed, played by Patrick Swayze. But his spirit returns again to cooperate with a medium, played by Whoopi Goldberg, those who killed him and to protect Molly from them as well. This film showed the tenderness and sensitive side of Moore's character, and she received a lot of praise for her performance in it. Leaving a mark in her artistic history, achieving revenues estimated at about $218 million at the box office and was nominated for five Oscars. More than co-starred with Tom Cruise, playing a strict Navy lieutenant, in the movie A Few Good Men, 1992. 
Moore continued her success after her successful film Indecent Proposal, 1993, in which she played with Woody Harrelson the role of a financially strapped couple who traveled to Las Vegas to gamble. And the gamble ends with them losing everything and befriending a billionaire, played by Robert Redford. He offers a desperate couple a strange and tempting offer of $1 million, but in exchange for a night with Moore's character in the movie, with her husband's consent. Conflicting opinions about this movie, it generated revenues estimated at about $104 million at the box office. In 1994, she starred in the hit movie Disclosure with Michael Douglas, as an executive who makes a bold sexual move towards Michael's character in the movie. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Moore explained why she accepted the controversial role, saying, I'd never played a bad character before in my films, which encouraged me to take on the role. The role was a difficult challenge for Moore. Who said the role broke her during filming? I was always shaking before filming every scene, which has never happened to me before. In 1995, Moore made history for receiving the highest paid actress at the time, $12.5 million for Striptease, 1996. According to Entertainment Weekly and according to her production company, Moving Pictures, Moore found greater success and powers, International Man of Mystery, 1997, films and the sequel that spawned from it. Demi is the only one who became a famous movie heroine from the band The Hooligans after their era of fame ended. A fan of the English football club Arsenal, she always attends matches when she is in London. Her eyes are of different colors, the left one is green and the right one is hazel. In 1996, People magazine chose her among the 50 most beautiful women in the world. Italian fashion designer Donatella Versace chose her to replace Madonna in the Fashion House's 2005 campaign. Moore owns the production company Moving Pictures, which produced the Austin Powers film series. Her fortune is estimated at $150 million. In 2009, she founded the non-profit The Demi and Ashton Foundation, DNA, to combat child sexual exploitation. Pain was titled Real Men Don't Buy Girls.